Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecrafts.com. I have another uh, coffee break project to share with you today. Uh, I'm still struggling with this dreadful cold, um, so please forgive me if I cough and my, or if my voice gives out during this um, film. I'm going to do my best. I, I, have, I made this project some months ago and I want to do it again, but as you'll see, this has got a bit scruffy, it was hanging about in a box after a class that I did but I wanted to do it again for you but I don't have enough of this designer series paper left with the coffee beans so I'm actually going to make my own paper using Whisper White and the stamp, the coffee bean stamp and then I'm what I don't have left is the lemon lime twist we open weave ribbon. I've used all that up. So I'm going to do this one in oot. What am I going to do it in? Oh my goodness, my colours are twirled around. I'm at, st as I'm pool party. As you know, I'm struggling with this cold. And I'm going to moan about it. It must be man flu because I can't stop moaning. But anyway, so... Um, Pool Party is the colour I'm going to use to do this project. I've done a little bit of the stamping ahead because I'm hoping to fit this in one go filming, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I'm using that beautiful burlap ribbon and this beautiful shimmer Pool Party ribbon. As I say, I've done a little bit of the stamping ahead, but the first thing I need to do is make the envelope that I put this in. So I've made this with the envelope punch board, and this is how good I am today. I haven't even got the envelope punch board out ready to do this. But for this for this project, I have a coffee bag here. I'm going to be advertising, but hey, this is one of my favourite coffees, rich Italian. It's fairly strong flavoured, um, and while I've got a cold, I'm really enjoying it. So I have this in coffee bags. The reason I have in coffee bags is when I'm at work, I still like real coffee, but um, that's a bit of a clear at work. I've got a machine at home, which is great, but just, they just get upset at work if you start clogging up the sinks with the coffee beans and things like that but these coffee bags are fantastic just put them in your cup pour on some hot water leave them to brew for a few minutes and then you have some really nice real coffee so i have some friends that have been asking me about the coffee i'm drinking at work so i'm going to make them all a wee gift using these coffee bags so that they too can find out how fab they are. Taylors do some and Lions do some as well. But these, the, these are the Lions ones that I use as well. Fantastic. So a nice envelope to make them into a nice... I hope Lions and Taylors are going to actually um, send me a wee check for promoting them. But uh, <laughs> there's my wee Scottish sense of humour there. Right, okay then. So I've got the envelope punch board to make the envelope. But before I do that... I'm going to stamp and make my own coffee bean paper. So I've got my early espresso ink beside me. This will be messy, I can assure you. Oh, take the wee stamp off there, the wee hard one. Got my little stamp with the three coffee beans on. And I am going to stamp this all over. And I'm going to do first, second and third generation and then back to the stamp. So let's hope this doesn't take too long. Every so often change the direction. Doing this as quick as I can. Three, two, three. I'm going to give the block away. I'm getting a bit inky, so just wiping off from my block. So, and again, a bit more. I'm actually thinking I need a bit more of the dark beans on, so I'm going to Again, because I'm making my own, I can decide as I go along how I want it to look. I'm looking for a bit more darkness, I think, here. Oh, oh, messy, messy. 
too much ink. Do you know all the things that I teach my ladies not to do today? I'm doing them myself, but hey. So for the envelope I needed 18.8 centimetres by 18.8 centimetres. Now, there we go. And that's to give me an envelope that will be just about the right size for this um, coffee bag. I might have some of those coffee biscuits somewhere um, that I can add in along with the coffee bag but I'll investigate that later. Uh, maybe just a few more coffee beans. Do you think, um, what do you think if I put a few hearts in here amongst the coffee beans could be cause? Well, just because. <laughs> Quite like this wee stamp that comes in this set. So I'm just sticking with the same colour and put in a wee few hearts. Be cautious of the fact that I'm getting this in a mucky mess again. So I'm just wiping off. I don't know how I manage it, but if there's a way to make a mess. Guaranteed, I will. I'm doing all these wee hearts first generation. I think. And I'm not sure what, well some of them are, I don't know, they're stamping off a wee bit. Let's see. Oh, I'm getting in a real mess here. I think mess is my middle name. I'll wipe it again. Baby wipes are, or a microfiber cloth are always handy to keep around when you've got ink. I think we're about there. So you see, you can make your own designer paper. You don't have to panic. If you've got a stamp set and some whisper white or very vanilla card, you know. Any other colour kind of colour of card for that matter, but enough, enough, enough. And before I put this ink away, I do have a little bit more stamping to do. Here I have already stamped out some of the elements that I'm going to need to cut out, but I do want to put the happiness is a cup of coffee with a friend on this one, so I am just thinking it up. And it, have I got that good? Then I'm just going to aim it to the middle of this cup here. And I'm doing this with Early Espresso is the colour I'm using when this card all over. Right, there we go. Happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. I, I absolutely love the font that that's in. I'm going to put that aside so I don't get messed up with that. So I have stamped this cup ready for that. The other one will be ready to get the blue bits on and I've stamped off a lid here. I did do two lids because one didn't stamp so well. So they're ready for die cutting. But before we do the die cutting I'm going to make the envelope and I am getting in a mess that's me muddle is def muddle and mess are my middle names but anyway so I did previously cut this to f to the 18.8 centimeters so then I want my first score has to be at 9.4 centimetres. Now the centimetres are quite hard to see on this board but I can see that's 9.4 and luckily I did put this away so actually it should have panned out so I don't know how much you have seen already but I've panned out now so hopefully you'll see the rest. So score and click. 
and again now what that's the only time you need that measurement now what you're doing is measuring using this line here you get that to go over your previous score so using this diagonal line on the board that's on the board in line with this part here score and click down that's twice again get that oh as long as this is over the score line there we go some people go that way or I go that way usually and the last one for this envelope here there we go that's lying over okay and then I'm going to use this side of my I love my envelope punch board round the corners Okay, envelope punch board away, and there you have it. I'm just getting rid of all my bits. Where we'll just use this stylus to burnish the folds. This is a square. This is square. This one. Right. Okay. You could. If you decide what, there you go, I'm going to be, that's the way it's going to go. And that bit over, and that will be so dead easy. Again, I've used um, fast views because I don't want this coming open. So basically, fast views down there, and down that one there. So take that one down, pop that on top, and that over the top, and then you've got a fabulous envelope. What do you think? Coffee in, and that goes over there. Now, you can, I've not got my glue dots, sir, through in the other room where I'm making some wedding invitations. <laughs> so, I just put a little bit, tiniest wee bit, of snail there so it's not going to stay too firmly it's easy to open and then I'm going to make this quick wrap around I'm going to do I'm going to do that I'm going to do that in a minute I'm going to stop this film do it in two parts I don't know if you're going to notice that but my films keep if I try to do them too long they keep cutting out so hopefully this will work Okay, so we're going to make the belly band now. That should now that stay there. So I'm going to take my fast fuse, and again, some people were quite surprised to see me do this, but this is something I've been doing a while is using my fast fuse. Well, along my ribbon. Your ribbon has to be at least the length of your fast, the width of your fast fuse, or it won't work. So, because this is the same both sides, it's fine. So, <laughs> get a fiddle here. Okay, so I need my burlap ribbon to. I need to get my fingers sorted. So I want the pull party to come along the middle of the burlap. basically need to pull them both tight. Sometimes feel like you've not got quite enough hands but let's see. Went a bit squint there. See when I'm not filming this is as easy as anything. So if you're doing it you won't be filming. Okay. It's not bad. It's not as good as it usually goes but there you go. That'll do. Because we're going to cover some of it up. So then I'm going to wrap it around. So I'm using it as a kind of belly band which can slip on and off. So it's going to go like that. I'm actually going to 
trim that bit of ribbon so that they're both the same. Whoops. And that's okay there. Trim this a wee bit actually. And then I'm just going to put a bit of fast fuse here. You could use glue dots if you've got them handy, but since I've left mine in the other room, then I'm not wanting to go through. So put that and then just over the top like that. And that join is actually going to be covered by the coffee cups that we're going to pop on in a minute. We're going to put them onto there, just tidy up a wee bit. So put that to the side. Now we've got to cut out my coffee cups and the bits that I need to go with them. So I'm going to need to bring the big shot in. So if you're just patient, because what we're making is something like this. Okay. So. big shot in now how much of this I, I don't know how much this so you see because I didn't really bank on using the bank I don't usually use my big shot it just doesn't fit under here but however the better that you watch some of it than nothing so first of all we need to cut out these cups so I don't have a magnetic platform so I use just a little bit of washi tape so it doesn't slip. In actual fact, I've got the, I'm going to do the, the <laughs> this is me all over, right? Because I had already taped that up, I'm going to just quickly do that one first. So I need a, a wrap in pool party. Just, go, just for ease of reach, I'm bringing it back again. Right, so there's one lid cut out. I'll put that there so we don't lose it. And one wrap cut out with the die cut. And as you see, I don't know if you can see the lights reflecting on the big shot. I'll show you when I'm finished cutting out. So finished with the one that gives you the corrugated, finished with the pool party. So now I need to get these lined up. So I need two cups and one lid. Wash your tape just to keep the cup from. I'm just trying to make sure it's lined up. I put the washi tape on the card where you're not actually going to use. Then I'm going to pop this through. And back again. So that's one cup and one lid. We don't need the lid die anymore. I'm sure this isn't very great for you to watch, but I'll be as quick as I can. Just one more cup. The one that I stamped the happiness is a cup of coffee with a friend. I think I'm needing to treat myself to some new plates for my big shot. Oh, no, that has slipped. Whoa. I, think we'll get, I don't think it had started cutting, so we should be okay. 
Oh, well, pay attention, folks, to what you're doing. Pay attention to what I'm doing, that's more about it. Right, that sounds like it's got it, and hopefully it's straight. It can slip easily, that's where the magnetic platform, it's not perfect, it slipped a bit, but do you know what, I'm going to go with it because don't have too much time for faffing about. This is why I do often have the die cutting pre-prepared. Oh. Right, okay, so let's hope I can find all the bits now. Okay, so I have this one here and I'm going to just use a bit. <laughs> I've got fast few stuck to my dies. Right. Fast fuse going on to my sleeve to stop me burning my hands and just a little bit of fast fuse on the edge and then just catching that on the cup there. And then this one, oops, just a bit of fast fuse on the edge of it. Or again, you can use wet glue when you're doing yours, you don't have to wait the time that I, do you know what I mean? I don't want this video to be like watching paint dry. So basically then, just want to pop these together, so I will just put a bit of fast fuse down the side of there. And they're just going on to that ribbon there, so I'm just going to put some fast fuse along the ribbon and stick them down. What do you think? How nice a gift is that? So you can just pull the belly band off, open the envelope maybe, and inside nice sachet of coffee. I can easily make a, could make a nice card to go in there. Just popping that back, oh, whoops. You make that over the flap of the envelope. And there we go. As I say, this is the one I made several months ago with the designer series paper and the lovely open weave ribbon. What do you think, that's my take on I freshened up a project, it really is quite scruffy, it's got some glue and different bits on it so we don't want to give that to anybody now, but there you go. Thanks very much for following along this week in our coffee break theme. Please subscribe to me um, by ticking the box below and also if you would give me a thumbs up and a favourable comment or a constructive comment rather um, and let me know what you think of these projects and what you think of me doing a sweet every week. I've, I have, um, I did pledge to do a sweet every week during the 13 weeks of celebration. We're now in week 9 would you believe? Unbelievable how quickly this is going in. Um, after celebration is over, what would you like me to do? Would you like me to go on doing a sweet a week or would you like me to do a series of standalone stamp sets and give you a good selection of uh, projects from both catalogues? Give me, let me know if you want techniques or if you want um, to see me using some standalone stamp sets in several different ways to give you ideas. Because I know sometimes, you know, we buy a stamp set and we make one card and then it sits on our shelves for months. So trying to avoid that, trying to buy a stamp set and use it in several different ways. 
so that that's kind of what's in my head but if you let me know um i i can do videos to accommodate what you would like thank you very much